Let's solve a pediatric safe dose range problem. Order amoxicillin 100 milligrams by mouth every six hours. The child weighs 15 pounds. The recommended safe dose range is 25 to 30 milligrams per kilogram per day. What is the safe dose range per day? Is the ordered dose safe for a 24 hour period? So what we're doing in this problem is seeing is the dose that is ordered for the whole day. Is it safe enough to give to the patient? So 100 milligrams by mouth every six hours is the ordered dose. That 100 milligrams is the amount for one dose. We are to give one dose every six hours. Despite what you might think, we are not going to touch this. That's why I'm going to put it in yellow, okay? So we're going to be looking for the safe dose range in the whole day. And you see that it is per kilogram per day in the safe dose range. So our goal for this question is going to be milligrams per day, okay? Now we can pick out our puzzle pieces because this is based off of the patient's weight. We're going to need our 15 pounds. And then the least that we can give is 25 milligrams per kilogram per day. And the most that we can give is 30 milligrams per kilogram per day. So we will have to do two different equations to see what is the lower limit and what is the upper limit. So when we start with the lower limit, we need the milligrams at the top. So we have a puzzle piece with milligrams at the top. So I'll start with my 25 milligrams per kilograms per day. Now we have milligram at the top. We have day at the bottom. So we've already got the puzzle pieces in place for the goal, but kilograms is not a part of the goal. So it has to be canceled out and we have pounds. So we will then use the one kilogram equals 2.2 pound conversion. I'll put my kilograms on the top so that they can cancel out. And now I can put my 15 pounds over one because it's just by itself. Anything that is by itself, I'm going to put it over one to remind me that it's just in the numerator and my pounds cross out. Now I'll multiply my numerator, multiply the denominator, then divide the numerator by the denominator. So 25 times 15 equals 375. One times 2.2 is 2.2. I'll divide 375 by 2.2 and get 170.5 milligram per day. I round it to the tenths place, FYI. So now we'll do the same thing with the most that they can receive, which is 30 milligram per kilogram per day. I'm going to set it up exactly like I just did the 25 milligram per kilogram per day. So my kilograms go on the top. And my 2.2 pounds go on the bottom so that my kilograms will cross out. And then I'll put my 15 pounds over one and my pounds cross out and cancel. And now I'm left with the goal milligrams on the top and day on the bottom. So we'll do 30 times 15. And that's going to be 450 over 2.2. And then we'll divide 450 by 2.2 and we'll get 204.5 and that's milligrams per day. Once again, rounding to the tenths place. All right. So our safe dose range is 170.5 to 204.5 milligrams per the whole day. So the least that they can receive is 170.5 and the most that they can receive is 204.5 milligrams per kilogram per day. This is the green zone. Anything that falls inside the green zone is safe. Anything that's less than 170.5 and more than 204.5 is in the red zone. So it's either not enough or it's toxic. So we have an order for 100 milligrams by mouth and we're to give that every six hours. So we need to see how many milligrams would they receive for the entire day. So we'll use the frequency. The frequency is identified by the every six hours. So if we do 24 hours divided by six, that will give us four doses in the day. So 100 milligrams times four doses is 400 milligrams per day for the whole day. So we need to see where 400 milligrams falls. Is it in the green zone or the red zone? Clearly it's way past 204.5 milligrams. So it is in the red zone and it is deemed not safe. For more breakdown of doses calculations problems using the puzzle piece method, be sure to subscribe and like. Thank you.